Happy New Year! I thought we'd have a demonstration outside in my favourite place, the meadow, today. The weather was beautiful this morning. We had a gorgeous frost and the sun was shining. Unfortunately, it soon disappeared. So I thought, why not? Why not carry a great big moon gate down into the meadow and everything you need in a table? Why not do it? Let's start the year as we mean to go on. Let's challenge ourselves this year. Let's make some gorgeous floral um, designs and let's inspire as many people as we can. This is the moon gate I made last October uh, from mostly, well, everything foraged really. And that's what I'm going to be using today in this design. Um, there are some gorgeous things out there, even though there's nothing flamboyant and bright jumping out at you, the little things are sometimes the things that really matter, especially during January. You have to look a bit harder, but they're out there. This is totally uh, dried grasses. There's bracken in here, hydrangeas, miscanthus, a little bit similar to what I'm going to use in this design. So I'll show you how I've constructed this design. Using one of these plastic tubes with the spike on, I've put some sticky, double-sided sticky tape on there and then I've extended the length with some really strong wires and then I've wrapped it in this gorgeous mulberry bark which picked up at one of the shows as you do and it just sits in your workshop forever and I thought oh it's a really nice colour, really nice natural, would work well with these nice um, natural tones so you can rip it and it looks really organic and I've just put them onto these tubes it looks a little bit like, they look a little bit like wax candles don't they? But they're great, I mean these are, are moving about a little bit but I don't mind, they're, they're in quite well. I've been practicing with my new toy which I got for Christmas, a drill, and I got a fabulous uh, drill piece kit set which I'm just practicing uh, with at the moment. So I've drilled lots of holes into this block of wood and I'm just using these dried hydrangeas as a bit of a, a base really for anything that goes in. So. In like a hand-tied bouquet, hydrangeas can make a really nice backdrop or a little bit of a framework that you can feed through and act as a little bit of a support. There is a little bit of water in these tubes, not a lot, I didn't want them to be too heavy. I'm not actually going to put much fresh material into this design today. I have got some gorgeous things from the garden though. One of my favourite things at this time of year and it has been flowering since probably September, is the winter jasmine. So jasmine nudiflorum. Nudiflorum because it flowers on bare branches. And look at that one. I don't know if you can see how it's uh, sent out some roots because it's been, it's been trailing along the floor and managed to send out some roots. I'm going to save that. I'm going to cut that off and pot it up. So I've got some new plants. So it's amazing what you can find actually. Now I like that piece. Let's get this one through. So it's going to be really quite an organic design. Hopefully not covering up the tubes too much. Um, and I've also got some of this gorgeous periwinkle, the Binker Major. This is the bigger leafed one. And I like this because it's really nice and flexible and it's light so into constructions structures like this it doesn't it's not too heavy so it can add a nice little bit of texture without weighting the design down and it can add some movement in as well because you can actually flex flex it into and move it around um, the tubes there so it adds a little bit of movement tiny bit of ribbon rib, rhythm so far one of my other favorite forage materials is the bracken now this was collected from plumber park um, on a little walk i had again in in the autumn there and lots of people bring me forage materials which is lovely because i don't often get chance to go out on walks Having, having been so lucky to have a, a big enough garden to roam around in and keep me busy, I actually quite enjoy being at home and I've really enjoyed it this year, catching up with all things in the garden. And I've got lots of ideas for next year. 
lots of projects and I think that's the key isn't it to keep making yourself little challenges so that you've got something to look forward to so just put that bracken in on the top there and a little bit there I haven't got a lot because most of it actually went into this fabulous moon gate behind me I must go maybe it's an opportunity I have to have a reason really to go out so I will go out I need to go to somewhere like Clumber Park where it grows wild at the side of the road teasels again they're just lovely aren't they um, a lot of people use them in designs at Christmas but they're a fabulous lightweight material that you can add into any design I'm just using the hydrangeas to push these through and just create a little bit of um, catch your eye coming down each little tube there so this year we're all going to really look forward to getting back out to the clubs aren't we hopefully by Easter we might have some sign of life in the flower clubs we might be able to we might be able to meet again fingers crossed I think we've all just missed the companionship we've missed the people haven't we it's been a really an online kind of 2020 everything um, has been online to keep us nice and safe so just put those teasels in in there hopefully you can see those it doesn't need a lot more material I have got these fabulous leaves these are the turkey oak and I've just put a wire on those and taped them with some stem tape just to extend them and make them pliable for me to add in to this design so I've come dressed appropriately today I've not wore this for ages it's so lovely to have something different other than an apron or a pair of overalls this is my my fake fur but nonetheless it's really cozy and it's ideal for weather like this I'm just going to add one or two of these in just to give it a little bit of weight really just positioning them at different angles so again it's more organic and I'm going to add just there's a little backdrop into there it's a nice lightweight leaf that you can put in oops that one did you hear it snap <laughs> it does happen it's natural material a little bit of weight down this bottom here I'll post a picture up of this um, against a, a nice clean backdrop inside later so that you can actually see it a little bit better I just thought it'd make a nice change to come outside and maybe um, maybe the Sun would have stayed out but it appears to have, have gone in but no, nonetheless it's, it makes you feel better being outside I'm going to take that one out because it did snap and I can see it let's put a different one in one with a bit of an organic curl there that's a nice one I like the I like the rustle of it as well. I think that always looks nice. Sounds nice, shall I say? So just add it into there. Just a little bit of natural material. So it's all very uh, neutral tones at the moment. Let's add a little bit of colour. Now I went into the workshop to see if I got any flowers left from my Christmas orders, and sadly, I had four very small tulips left, and that was it. Four. so whether I use all four I'm not sure I might just use three let's see so again I like tulips because they just they they sort of move with the light they're very organic looking and it just makes you think of spring doesn't it spring is on its way and some of our tulips are coming up in the garden you can see them all poking through the soil against all odds and it just you just feel now that the, the um, nights are drawing out we're getting a bit longer days now you just feel as though you're getting on the right side of things and with the news of everything I think um, we have got a lot to look forward to we've learned so much this year haven't we about appreciating everything that nature has to offer I've just put those tulips in 
just to bring your eye through and you can see how they're just jumping out from those neutral tones aren't they I mean flowers do add such a lovely um, addition to anything like this they do pop out at you I mean I've got loads of stuff in my box that I'm probably not going to use Cotoneaster horizontalis the old-fashioned herringbone Cotoneaster this has got some fabulous berries on it at the moment and because we've only got three tulips I'm going to add in some colour using these berries I'm amazed the birds haven't had them actually let's just put a few of them through just to highlight it there they are gorgeous so I've got some wonderful news to share with you um, at this time of filming this nobody actually knows about this because I've been sworn to secrecy and um, I'm, I've not even told my mum till later on today it's the 30th of December in November I received a letter from the cabinet office in London and it was a total shock totally totally out of the blue um, recommending me for a British Empire medal for um, for my charity work I am a bit overwhelmed by it I have to say because we do a lot of charity work but we do it as a team so I do feel as though I'm really honoured to accept it on behalf of our fundraising team. We raise for mostly for breast cancer, buying equipment for um, the Nottingham City Hospital. You may have seen some of my demonstrations as a North Midlands demonstrator. Um, quite a few of my dem themes are based around the cycle rides that we do and the fundraising that we do. Um, so. <laughs> It's absolutely incredible. So the news, I will be in the New Year's Honours list. Um, I've ordered a newspaper, but I'm not quite sure whether they print it on the 31st of December or the 1st of January. So I've ordered, uh, I've actually ordered one for today, tomorrow and the 1st, just so I don't miss it. So that is breaking news. Um, and I'm, I'm so, so over the moon and it just, um, <laughs> It just really highlights how um, generous people are. And I think during this year, raising money for charity has been totally um, put on the slow go, but people have actually been, been so, so generous. And uh, yeah, so um, hope you've enjoyed my demonstration. I've just... <laughs> put in some Cotoneaster horizontalis there just to bring your eye through and here's my little organic natural design